Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. I'm welcoming all everyone who's here, whether you're a new subscriber, uh, someone who's been here for a while, or if you've stumbled upon my videos, I hope you enjoy what you see. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video out, I would greatly appreciate it. This is the book, uh, booklet called Reset, 20 Ways to a Consistent Prayer Life by Bob Sorge. And we are on day eight. I have a playlist with all these uh, reset videos in our in my playlist on YouTube uh, you can go to the reset playlist click on playlists and then reset and this one will also go in there it is um, we're on day eight so we've done one through seven so far and this one will go on there today 20 Ways to a Consistent Prayer Life. It says cleanse. Reminder, yesterday we resolved to a life, a life of repentance. We invited the gaze of Jesus to search every part of our heart. Say it again to him, know me, Lord. After repentance comes cleansing. One way believers are cleansed is by what scripture calls the sprinkling of the blood of Christ. That is Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24 and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. That is not customary language in, in our culture. So let me explain what the Bible means by it. The idea of sprinkling comes from Old Testament times when the high priest would dip his fingers and sprinkle the blood of the sacrifice on various things such as the altar, the priests, the people, and the mercy seat. That practice pointed to the cross of Jesus. <clears throat> now Jesus sprinkles and washes us with his own blood, which he shed on Calvary. Revelations chapter 1 verse 5 is where you can find that. Jesus' blood is the most powerful detergent. <clears throat> In the universe, it's the only thing that cleanses someone's conscience. Here's the primary New Testament passage that speaks of being sprinkled by the blood of Jesus. Now, I've asked you to have a journal for this Reset Devotional Study Guide. And I would like you all to write day A cleanse. And you can write anything about the blood is the most um, best thing you can do. Strongest cleanser in the universe. I want you to write down these Bible verses that are in these boxes here. Having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. That is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 and 22. Two things accuse us of sin, our conscience and Satan is who is the accuser. When one leaves off, the other picks up. 
Both are completely silenced by the sprinkling of the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ washes our, our conscience so thoroughly that we actually feel clean. To feel clean before God is the best feeling in the world. When Satan accuses us of sin, the blood of Jesus silences him. Revelation chapter 12 verses 10 and 11 says we overcome the accuser by the blood of the Lamb. When we're covered by the blood of Christ, the accuser is muzzled. The blood shuts him up. This is great news. You don't have to get sprinkled with blood only once in your life, just as you don't have to shower just once in your life. You can get cleansed by Christ's blood as frequently as you get defiled in the world. For most of us, that's every day. Now it says pray. I suggest this simple prayer, Jesus, sprinkle me with your blood. By faith, you see yourself under the blood of Christ. Now your conscience is cleansed. You're beyond condemnation or accusation. David also prayed for cleansing. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. That is Psalm chapter 51, verse 7. A branch of hyssop was used to place the blood of the Passover lamb on the doorposts of a house. Exodus chapter 12, verse 22. Hyssop, therefore, represented the cleansing of the Lamb's blood. David was confident that God's washing would leave him clean, both inside and out. It says to pray, express your confidence in the blood of Jesus. Give thanks to God for such a glorious provision. Worship the Lamb of God who is worthy of all honor and praise and rejoice in how clean you are right now. Heavenly Father, there's that emoji that tells us to pause and pray. So Lord, I know that your blood cleanses me from all sin. I thank you, Lord, for that glorious provision. I worship you, Lord, because you are worthy of all honor and praise. I rejoice in how clean I am through the blood of Christ right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Then it says, take some advice from Jesus. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. So before we seek anything else, we need to seek God, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God's righteousness is given to us when we place our faith in the cross of Christ. Why did Jesus tell us to make righteousness our first pursuit? Because his righteousness makes us bold to draw near to the throne of grace. Jesus told us to seek his righteousness first. Because he wants us to draw near him in intimacy. Decide, therefore, to get cleansed every day by the blood of Christ and draw near to God. This is how we seek God's righteousness and honor, the sacrifice of Calvary. 
Stop for a minute. This is an important moment in your prayer reset. You're putting down a marker in your history with God. You're resolving to get cleansed daily by the sprinkled blood of Christ. This means that every day the voice of your conscience will be satisfied and the accuser will be silenced. You'll have great boldness to draw near to God every day. There's that sign that means pause, stop, and pay attention to what you just read. By checking this box, I indicate my holy resolve to get sprinkled with the blood of Christ every day. And I'm going to check that box. Now it says pray. <clears throat> Ask God to remind you every day to get cleansed spiritually. Tell him you intend to seek his righteousness continually. Thank him for making a way through the cross for you to live in his presence all day every day you are super clean right now in the presence of your father enjoy your stay in the throne room today and then there's room for notes heavenly father i thank you for cleansing me with the blood of christ Every day, I will strive to keep that in mind, to pray that every day. If you would like to do that, please do so. I would like to hear about your experiences with that. What difference has it made in your life? Here are the questions. What questions do you have about the blood of Jesus, that you would like answered. Put those in the comment section down below, please. Do you intend to receive the sprinkling of Christ's blood every day? We can ask for it in prayer every day. So my answer is yes. I want more of Jesus in my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. Thank you for this little book, which helps us to a consistent prayer life. If there is anything I can pray with you about or answer your questions, I don't know everything, but we can look it up together. I would be more than happy to uh, do some research with you. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can post in the comments. You can email me also. My email address is in the description box right below this video. I thank you so much for watching, and may God bless you. Bye for now.